So, Boy HHWA, let's make a proper video. Uh, what happened today? Nice, cool experience. Off to give right treatment to a, a client. A new client, he's very sick. But, um, what I've done today is Sabrina, my good friend, um, has bought me, well, she owes me money and she bought with the money and I agreed to it, um, some kind of special medicinal mushrooms. Um, you know, they've got ingredients cacao nibs, coconut oil, coconut sugar, carob, hazelnut, cinnamon, lion's mane, turkey tail, niacin B3, so niacin B3 puff. Monatomic gold and magic. I forgot. Magic means magic mushrooms, and I forgot that she said there's a small amount of microdosing mushrooms inside these. So I thought it was all medicinal, and I forgot about the magic part. So it says here don't eat more than two at a time because the knives in blush, you go on and off them. So what do I do? Being blessed to go Harry, and forgetting it's microdosing mushrooms, um, I eat eight. Of these highly expensive chocolates, two pounds each, almost one go. Oops! But here's the lesson. As the train goes, here's the lesson for you guys. I felt floaty. I feel floaty. And microdosing magic mushrooms is a really, 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 really powerful health protocol. It's really cool. I have eaten a lot of the chocolates, but it's still a microdose. It's probably more than a microdose, but not a macrodose. I can still function and talk to you, but I do feel very floaty and spacey. And this microdose, microdosing primarily of mushrooms, which I'm feeling right now, um, a bit more than microdose, reminds me of something that we all live with, which is a low-level hum of stress, um, like a, re a little refrigerator of stress that we all have, especially us in the community that are traumatised. I think we carry it more. But if we're being honest, normal people do red pill as well. We all carry this low-level hum of like refrigerator sounding noise, um, especially when they do, we do jobs we don't love, especially when we're surrounded by people we don't know too long, we don't socialise and tour. And with us with our trauma, we go inwards, we can't be around our friends. It's just, what reminds me of it is this, because I feel the opposite. When I'm walking around now doing my normal business, which I can do anyway, but I'm always carrying this low-level hum of, um, of stress. Now it's been removed somewhat, it's been lifted, the veil of stress has been lifted, but I can still function, I'm not completely high and off my face, but the low level of stress has gone. So now it feels, it reminds me that, that I'm always carrying it, but it's something I get used to, which is why I'm making this video. We're always used to stress. Different levels, but it's taken away with microdosing magic mushrooms. And you can experience deep relaxation, deep presence. The ego's still there, you can still function, but it's amazing. I guess I'm tapping into what it's like to be a normal person somewhat. Even though they have their version of low-level humps of stress. Very interesting and very deep topic, but that's the power of magic mushrooms. It opens up creativity, opens up the brain neural pathway so you can see things differently. That gets you out of addictions because you're stuck and opens up pathways. But I think one of my favourite benefits of it, or at least right now, microdosing, is it takes away that stress that's always present and there. And by the way, stress for me is even when I'm... Um, when I'm on my game, I'm Asian and all this stuff, I've still got that low level of health and stress through to trauma, I'd say. Mine's more trauma linked than it is linked by living the wrong lifestyle now. It's more trauma linked, so I carry it with me. Um, fascinating. Grounding now, by the way, too. So yeah, just watch her. Um, the low level hums of stress. Microdosing magic mushrooms. It's amazing. How about?